There it is. Okay, come with me. Hi, everybody. We're going to talk about a $1,000 Bluetooth speaker. But, as much as I should do it out here, it's currently 91 degrees. And I'm going to try to talk about it in not just the shade, but air conditioning. Because that's the kind of man I am. Kill Bill Volume 2, Old Dirty Bastard. Okay, so... That was the only accessory I had out there. Let's pick this up. <laughs> up. Wait for it. Come on. There we go. Uh, welcome to Z Reviews, everybody. I'm gonna check out my Patreon to see these videos early and to support this channel since YouTube is a pile of crap. This is a sound box. And I think it has a model number, but I don't care what that is. This thing is massive. When I was contacting, they said, hey, we have a Bluetooth speaker. I get like 200 emails, probably, probably close to 250 emails a month, specifically about $25 Bluetooth speakers. And I'm just like, no, I don't even like respond to them. They just, they're just spam at this point. But something about the, the, the name Soundbox, which I, I get it, it's a K and not an X, so it's a Soundbox. Uh, caught my attention and then they, I looked at the website and I looked at the price and I'm like why is this a thousand dollars and it, it took me a minute to realize exactly the scale of it because I was expecting like a miniature a little baby a little baby and um that is not a little baby nothing um and let me explain to you what it's got in fact I'm gonna go downstairs grab my tools because I can remove this grill. It comes in either black or orange. And I want to show you what's living behind it. Last one, God almighty. I thought it would be easy to find the, uh, the right uh, connector for this. But apparently they contracted out to Mars, lower that. And I had to end up using a T, what is this? This is not the right thing. It's a T27 star to get out these hex. I had literally three sets of Allen keys and metric, I need like a four and a half millimeter. Anyway, that. So this, which is replaceable with their different colored ones, hides that. And most Bluetooth speakers don't come with dual tens and then a massive one inch compression horn. So I said yes. And I'm like, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll give a listen to this for a thousand dollars. I mean, the, the website, I'm obviously linking to the website, is like hilarious because it shows people like carrying it to the beach. This thing weighs like 40 pounds. It's like 37 pounds. And it's got beautiful build. Here's a little, it comes with, with like plastic that was like covering things to explain it. Like I feel like most equipment needs this nowadays. It's basically, hey, hey. You're probably an idiot. So we're gonna explain exactly what you can do by peeling this off and you can look at it and go, ah, this is the SKA bond button. Uh, down the SKA receiver units, guy, blah, 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 blah. So in here, we have got auxiliary in XLRs. Then you have an auxiliary in three and a half millimeter. Then you have an auxiliary out three and a half millimeters. So you could technically put a subwoofer to this if you felt like it. And then one and two channels uh, balanced XLR combo units for connecting microphones and other pro equipment. So it's got connections like you'd expect on a pro speaker. And it's built a lot like a pro speaker would be built. I mean, it's a, just a big ugly box. But it's not a pro piece of equipment, so it's actually nice. So we've got these Allen keyed in. We've got here's our team ID. When you, you can pair these to teams, you can't do them in stereo. If I could have gotten one of these in right and one of these in left, I would have absolutely asked for two of them. Which instead you get is just mono, but a lot of mono. And here's your team ID. The box is vinyl covered with nice uh, reinforced corners. And then these things, let me just, I have to do this for, 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 oh no, I did bad. I didn't tighten that down, hold on. Getting this off the stand, which by the way, the stand does not come with it, that is an accessory. But I'm like, you better give me the stand so I can stand in front of this thing. But if you take this off the stand, and you were carrying it and you just dropped it on the floor. Oh my God. The silicone basically balls um, 
racquetballs are absolutely fantastic. And I think all pieces of equipment should probably have them. Uh, here is the, I forgot to tighten this down. This is the little thing to strap that in. Uh, I'll quickly look at the stand. It's very light. It comes with a carry bag, which I actually have in my basement. Or not in my basement, but like near my basement. Here it is. It's been sort of hanging around my house for a while. Because, I mean, once you take this thing out, if you want to put it back in, it just folds. So, I might clear up an area. I may have to clear up an area and put this down. But let me fold this thing up for you first. It's a one-handed pickup jobby. Loosen this. This just all sort of folds in place. Like that. Nice and compact. The adjustment will goes here. You loosen this up. You pull out the pin, like on a grenade. You can lift it up to, that's as high as it'll go. I wouldn't go higher than that. Put that in there and then tighten this back down. So you can get that speaker well above head height for most human beings. And then when you're ready to store it, you just do the same thing. You pull this out. Um, you can take it down to the last hole. I can't get it. Slam it, tighten it. Ooh. Pop it back in the bag, good to go. Uh, let me clear that off, give me a second. Right, let's pick this up. It's not so heavy that I don't think anyone can use it. It's just, ecstasy of gold by the way. It's just, it's very large. It's very, very large. It's like the biggest microwave you own, like that's what it is. Um, and I opened up the webpage. Uh, oh, here's your wallpaper by the way. I, I don't know why because it makes me horny. There you go, wallpaper in the description. And we'll open up the webpage. And this is the Gen 3. They've apparently been doing this for years to the point where they now have the third generation sound box and the second generation battery. And uh, I'll pull out the battery in a bit and show you how that works. But first, let me give you the tour. Obviously, you would keep the grill on. I'm just taking it off to show you. They've installed this very, very rigid foam so that if anything happens, it doesn't get crushed. I mean, this is like steel. This is no joke amount of grill they've got on here. And it comes in four different colors. It's black, white, blue, and orange. And I figured orange because my Kubota tractor is orange and maybe one day I wanna go mow my lawn and play Flight of the Valkyries with this strapped to the back of it because that's the kind of person I am. So, uh, yeah, they don't give me the exact wattage of what's going on here, I might say so in the book. But all you have to know is, if you wanted to play Amber Rubarth up to 126 decibels, which, by the way, can I just point out how nice this volume knob is? All knurled aluminum, beautiful. Rubberized buttons, everything's clean. Even the, the numbers goes from zero and it lights up. A few clicks between until you get all the way around to 11. And that's a lot of amber. Okay, that's, um, thank God that was Amber Rubarth, not Run the Jewels, because that would have been uh, death. You really shouldn't play this to 11, ever. The thing is, it's pretty distortion free. It definitely has some sort of DSPs protecting it from trying to throw too much bass. I've never heard it distort, but then again, I also can only listen to like on volume 11 for a, a, just, just to show off to people. Anywhere in the 50 to 60% range. That's usually enough to like enjoy music. Um, I actually do have a clip of this outdoors. It's not just some, some sad, lonely Zeos in his kitchen with a thousand dollar Bluetooth speaker. I actually let someone borrow this for a party. There was a, a 50th birthday party and they came to me and were like, hey, I have $40. What Bluetooth speaker can I use at an outdoor party? And I went, <laughs> I'll be right there. And then this showed up. So you can see that clip here. Zeos in the field. Look at that snapshot editing I just did where I actually just inserted the clip. Anyway, um, yeah, it, it functioned. We couldn't bring it to 11. Like it was rock and rollers there, man. There's people who are in bands who deal with pro equipment. And everyone was just like, can you, can you not? Play it so loud. Like the ideal thing, the reason it was so far away from the people is, and I'll give you a little bit of lesson in sound reinforcement. You don't want to sit here 
to enjoy this speaker, you want to sit like through those doors and about another 35, 40 feet away. And then you can play it at a knife, enough volume that it covers the entire span of where you're living or partying. So you want more speakers usually and further away. You can turn them up louder, further away, louder, further away, louder. The louder you can turn it up, the further away you can put it, the more even it will be for your entire party. If you've got a party that's this, this big, you don't want to put the speaker in the corner, then everyone dies over there and they can't hear it over there. You put that speaker twice the distance of the party away and just play it and it washes over everybody evenly. So yeah, great for sound reinforcement, let me tell you that much. Um, as far as the build goes, I wanna reiterate this. This is way nicer than you would get with like normal commercial equipment. The handles on it are nice. These are a hardened plastic. This is a hardened plastic. This is the most interesting part because I've never seen a commercial speaker or any other that has this. There is a port, like a base port, that goes completely through the unit. And it ends up in these bowls. And you can see the grill inside so you don't get wasps flying in and making nests if you leave this thing outside. It is not waterproof. It is spill-proof and splash-proof and weatherproof. If it starts raining, you don't have to freak out. Don't throw it in the pool. These are still, you know, paper surround drivers in here. And that's sort of telling because paper surrounds will probably hold up outdoors a little bit better than rubber or butyl rubber. Um, I'm not sure about silicone. Silicone and the heat maybe wouldn't, but these are more like the drivers you would see or the surrounds you see on a driver designed for the Klipsch Heresies. So there is someone who cares behind the sound design of what this can do, because that is a massive, well, that's 10 inches, and that's a nine inch, uh, beautiful uh, waveguide for that compression driver. And from Amber Rubarth or Megalobox, whatever's playing, they actually tuned it to sound good. Like it doesn't, it doesn't get too, you're paying a thousand dollars, but Zeos, is it a gimmick? It's kind of a gimmick in that it is the world's large, maybe not the world's largest. I'm sure someone's gonna say, oh, we got a bigger one. But for $1,000, you're getting something that actually feels like you paid the right amount of money for it. Because two tens and a compression driver in a DSP corrected output enclosure that's waterproof and then has a battery. I can't play too much. Like there's a subtlety here that if you play this quietly, because that's the real test, like blasting it to 126, who gives a damn? No one's, no one's playing it that loud. You wanna play it, you play it loud, you play it far away, no one's paying attention, you're all drunk. When you could click it up one notch, two notches, three notches, four notches, five, six, seven, and you can get Jim Morrison to come out of this with like a vocal clarity that doesn't sound just like, whatever bro, bass, treble, it, 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 it actually, it's a cohesive sound. I'm very happy that it does that. I'm gonna lay this on its back. Actually, we're gonna look at the side one more time. Um, volume knob, huge. I love the LED indicators. I love the click, I love how smooth it is. It goes to 11. I would have personally made it go to 12 just because. But um, power button, rubberized. Here's your join host or solo mode. This is to connect it to other speakers. Here's your uh, team ID to the match things up. I think there might be an app. Honestly, I've just been Bluetooth to it, let it go. You're not gonna do much with the app. The, the pro level connectors you got down here, um, switch, switching between that is a button, that is a light and a button, I really like that. Uh, let's lay this thing on its back. There's not much else to see there. Like a sushi restaurant. I don't want to blow it up. The bottom has the standard, this is actually a standard size uh, mount for the stand. The regular old uh, pro stands will do that. I'm going to power it off. I'm going to show you, and I just keep picking it up by the, I it's on my, my marble countertop and I don't care because it's got giant silicone balls. The battery, this is why I really like this unit. It's the little shit that I would have thought of that someone would have gone like, that seems wrong what you're doing. And I'm like, no, it's brilliant. So you want to take the battery pack out. You unplug it, 
and you lift it out. There we go. Here's the battery pack. And it actually has LED indicators on it, although I don't see them working. Either the LED indicators stopped working or because it's not being charged currently. But here's the cavity for it. There's the plug. Here's the strap. And the way this battery doesn't fall out is when you install the battery, you plug it in right at the line where the, so now the battery can't come up because you plugged it in right there. The plug itself is acting as the latch. Someone, I hope someone got a beer at Soundbox when they figured that out because you're never going to yank on this hard enough or it's never going to jostle hard enough to break that connector. It's actually a very heavy duty connector. And it serves the two purposes of plugging it in and also preventing the battery from coming out. And you could buy these batteries separately. They're like $90. They're, they're a little bit pricey, but um, that speaker at nominal volumes will last 40 hours. And you know how I know that? Because I lent it to that person for the party. They had it for two weeks. They never charged it. I got it here. I set it up. I use it during the blackout. I never charged it and I'm reviewing it right now and I've never charged it. Now, if you pummel it to near maximum, five hours, which is understandable, but that's still an impressive amount. The battery is the size of a motorcycle battery, but still something that large that can play that loudly. So here is the actual website. Um, I, my keyboard is currently dead. $1,000 plus tax or 999 plus tax or $91 a month with a firm. I don't know. Black grill, boring orange is what I have, white or blue. I'd probably go with a colored grill. We're going to scroll down. I don't want to read the reviews. I hate reading other people's reviews. Connected several together is silly easy, says TechCrunch. What else? Come on, click. This imposing portable boombox is now wirelessly expandable, more dynamic, and thankfully no bigger than before. End gadget. Uh, a speaker that actually sounds like you want a speaker to sound, says Geek Dad. Is Geek Dad a thing? Is that it? That's all they have? Oh, I gotta give them one for Zeos Pantera. Oh, damn it. Z Reviews. What does Z Reviews say? Um, okay, I gotta say this. This is my, this is, this could be my quote. I'll have a quote on there. The only thousand dollar Bluetooth speaker worth buying. That was good. It was a little, little bit, not, not enough flavor. Oh, we'll be more flavorful. We'll be a more flavorful fucking quote. You know what? Comments below. What, what's the Zeos quote for this? Because I'm going to say all sorts of fucking shit and dick things about it. They could put that in there. It, it's for a thousand dollars. I don't feel like I got ripped off. Perfect. For a thousand dollars. I don't feel like you got ripped off. Done. Because it actually performs how I would dream a thousand dollar Bluetooth speaker would perform. That's another one that could be going there. It's another good one. Um, here it is. Concert level volume, 126 decibels. Cinema quality sound. I don't know what that means. Most movie theaters don't sound as good as my basement. Durable design, splash proof, spill proof, dent proof with shock absorbing corners. Yes. Uh, expandable music experience, huge bass, blah, blah, blah. Swappable battery box. So here's the LEDs lighting up in the battery box, which don't on mine. Um, I wouldn't also talk about where I had this before. Team Up Wireless, connect up to five sound box speakers to create a wireless sound system anywhere. The problem with that is, number one, it's $5,000, which is a lot. Number two, it's only mono. Now, I don't necessarily miss stereo for an application like this where you're just trying to put sound in an area, but if I was doing like a band or I was doing a listening party, I would definitely spend the time and wire it up with XLRs to two of them and get them actually to play true stereo. I wonder if you can, if you wired one up XLR, I wonder if you could then team it with five and then wire the other one up XLR and then team it with another five. And you could have 10 of these playing left and right. Write that down. Um, pro panel, plug microphone, mixer, instrument, or pro level sound within the setup. So that's perfect. You got the quarter inch, you got the XLRs, you got the three and a half millimeter. Hear it for yourself. Questions, hit us on the phone. Never miss a beat, blah, 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 blah. Anyway. Yeah, back to waifu wallpapers. Put this down. The last thing I have to show off about this unit, I'm gonna put the grill back on in a second because I'm afraid of what's about to happen. Um, the accessories it comes with, the only ones I don't have are the microphone, it comes with a microphone. It comes with, the, well, you can buy it with a microphone. 
doesn't come with. You could buy it with a microphone, you could buy it with a stand, you can buy it with the backpack. Now this, I was hoping to get Princess Pasta to model this for me, because if you recall, there was a Bluetooth speaker backpack that she and I did back when I was living in my old apartment down in uh, Narberth, and it was freaking hilarious because the backpack was gigantic and made you look like a turtle, and it didn't sound very good. It was one of the worst products I reviewed. So it would have been a nice change of pace to have Princess Pasta wear something that is actually good as a backpack. The only issue is, I'm a big dude, and I feel like if I put this on this, and I'll, I will strap it into this now after I put the grill back on, I'm gonna try to wear this, and we're gonna go for a walk just straight outside and straight back with this playing music on my back. And I don't know what my neighbors are gonna think, and I don't know how my center of gravity is gonna be, but this is an option, this is available, you can buy this, it says Soundbox. Ooh, also it came with bumper stickers, and one of them was a rainbow Soundbox bumper sticker, so it was like the gay bumper sticker, and I put that on my ladder, so now I have a gay ladder. Um, thank you, Soundbox, I appreciate that. So yeah, I'm gonna put the grill back on this. I think we've all stared inside of its soul enough. Oh, actually, I'm gonna turn it back on. Hold, that's it. Wait for the... Bluetooth to kick back on. It should do it automatically. Yeah, my, my phone speaker is not exactly... I'm trying to make it not... Alright, let me get the grill back on and let this go! This, I blame my phone for this, nothing else. Alright, I gotta pause that, turn this up a bit, because I'm not gonna be able to reach... I don't think I'm gonna be able to reach the volume control when I'm doing my thing. The way it mounts is really interesting because it just it has these cutouts on this little metal shelf that are for the silicone balls. You see this is welded in place. It's got little rubber feet, so I should be able to turn it upside down or right side up, I should say, on my counter. Did you know those did that? I didn't know those did that until after I bought the house. I'm like, oh my God, worth it. Um, let me roll this on its side. It doesn't appear to like lock in place in any way. It just sort of is gravity were held and then there is a strap that goes around the fascia of the unit that is almost pre-sized i'm going to give that up a little bit more tightening and this is the support so that it doesn't smash you in the spine which i appreciate i hope it works really well because if it doesn't there are some metal bits here that i'm not going to enjoy feeling on the small of my back and then of course it has the belt for around me or it, just imagine it's Princess Pasta, that's all. It, it would be so much better if it was her and I could have strapped this thing onto her and told her to go for a walk. Let's... Uh, I think with, the, with this on, it's going to be somewhere in the range of like 42 pounds. Just, just saying. So, I mean, here's the adjustment for this, which doesn't need to be loose, that's fine. This probably needs to go out as far as humanly possible to fit around my waist. What is this? You are part of the strap system, which I'm not sure how I have to adjust that. Oh, it's got these really nice, those are some, see, you know, they charge a lot for these accessories, but that's a nice, like, pull strap to adjust it. Like, you literally just pull this and it adjusts out. So, bravo on not going super cheap. I feel like this company knows that their stuff is going to be sort of like a meme, but at least it's not garbage. Look at this. I've never seen that before. So this is the chest strap, waist strap and chest strap. This actually has two pieces of elastic and then the solid strap so it can actually stretch, but then still can't go past a certain point. I feel like I need a belt that does that. That's amazing. I'll let that out because I have a big chest too. Um, I'm going to save myself the embarrassment of putting... No, I'm not. I'm not saving myself the embarrassment. We're just going to... We're going to embarrass myself completely putting this thing on. Thank God my countertop is the right height. Oh, God. It's just like school. It's just like going back to school. Okay. I'm mildly standing. Can I get the waist thing? I can. All right. I'm going for the breast strap. Where is the other side of it? Oh, it's way up here. It's basically gonna choke me. It's gonna be fantastic. Who doesn't like to be choked? Hold on, honey, we're gonna go to the beach. The thing is, this would actually be me at the beach. 
I'm gonna have to bring this too. The next time I'm at a beach. Oh, oh okay. You know what? It's not as awkward as I thought it would be. It's still heavy as hell. And I'm sure you'd love to see me look like a turtle. But, um... Wow, this feels... I feel like if I had one beer... Is it, is it nice? If I had one beer, this would be the most dangerous act ever performed. Holy God, it's, uh, there's a little bit of a lean. You have to like do the corrective lean. Pure heroin, no, okay, no. Perfect, this is my style. And there's definitely no way to control the volume. You have to have a buddy do it or, let me see if lowering this. Yeah, you could crank, oh, ow, I'm walking around here in slippers. You could crank it on the unit itself and then lower your phone's volume or whatever you're controlling this with volume. I'll say, you know, for a 40 something pound backpack, all the strapping and like, oh God, is that the storm coming? I just got my power back after like 20 hours. Um, all the strapping actually feels relatively comfortable and I'm a big dude. I don't want to see what this would do to a small hundred pound girl though. Like they, they have pictures of it on the website. It's like, is she really wearing that? I could wear, I could, if I had to walk around for 25, 30 minutes with this on, you know, playing Piano Man. I could do it. This is a doable thing. I'm doing it right now. What else we got? I don't want to, real love baby, Father John Misty. I could do this. I feel like a bit of a tool doing it. Shit, I should have unlocked one of these doors. Oh. I wouldn't want to do this for more than, say, 20 minutes. Like, we're walking somewhere, we're hiking, we're going to some sort of weird sex arena in the jungle, and they needed us to bring the tunes. You'd be responsible for the tunes. I'm going to stand right up. Oh. I just try to stand up straight, and it's not. You basically become the hunchback of Notre, Notre Dame. You're a little bit, you got to do a little bit of a lean. Theme of Yuri. The thing is, I know this speaker projects because of the per, 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 yeah. percussion tweeter, tweeter, tweeter. So it's like, as soon as I walk away from my neighbors, they know what's going on. I also can't play too much music because fucking YouTube. I have enough problems with them and their algorithm. I got to burn all these weeds. Don't tell me to burn my weeds. I'll burn my weeds when I damn well feel like it. Oh, good. Oh wow, leaning, oh, leaning forward. It feels like I've got a dead child on my back. I don't know what that feels like, but oh man, swinging around. Okay, the, ooh, turning quickly like that in a space. Number one, I have to make sure I'm not a goddamn ninja turtle and smash everything. Number two, if you, because usually you turn around and you just turn around, but if you have 40 something pounds in your back and you spin, it's like, ha ha ha, centrifugal force, and you'll fall. And I'm pretty sure if you fell on this, it would not be very comfortable. So only, oh, it's a back massager too. You know what? I actually enjoy the vibration I'm feeling from the Dread soundtrack. Is my volume up all the way? I didn't turn the knob up to, I have to turn the knob up to 11. I, shouldn't, I don't want to do it on my back. So let's see how hard this is to get off because I should be able to set the balls. Can I reach the thing? Yeah, I should be able to literally detach this. Like, don't look up docking on the internet, but I'm about to do some de-docking is that possible see no no i don't think i can because i'd have to go down take these off oh, oh yeah yeah you definitely you're gonna need help you're gonna do not put this on your back and then if you don't have a table where you're going uh you're gonna have to like detach it and drop it if you could let that go you might be able to lean it and pull the backpack off like that 
since that strap's the only thing holding it on. Oh, I feel refreshed. I feel like if I've ever wanted to do like training, wow, I feel so much lighter. It's like when Piccolo took off his weighted clothing. Um, yeah, I give this uh, eight out of 10. It would be uh, nine out of 10 if it was a little less money. You're paying a thousand, but you're getting a lot for it. But still, it's a thousand dollars. I think people want to be able to say, hey, I'm getting, I got a thousand dollar Bluetooth speaker. And I've even said it multiple times. I'm like, yeah, I'll bring over my thousand dollar Bluetooth speaker. So literally the cost of it is one of the reasons, it's like a bullet point. You get to say you have a thousand dollar Bluetooth speaker. You're not some peasant class thing. You're this above beyond, you know, 50 cent level, you know, Eminem in his prime. I got a thousand dollar Bluetooth. I could see the rhyme about it. They could spit in rhymes about their thousand dollar Bluetooth speaker. This would be the speaker. Um, the only thing else I really have to complain about is the size, but I mean, how do you complain about that? All they could have done is moved another one of the drivers to the rear maybe, but then you don't have the tr projection. The whole point of the speaker is that it projects forward. So let's turn that up, not to 11. Screw 11, we're gonna go to 10, which is that's as loud as it gets. Oh, DHL is here. Again, wallpaper in the description. So, in my, I, I'm gonna have to do, a, a, I'm gonna have to do a thing outside, aren't I? But let's just see, let's, let's do Rainy Devil, no, perfect. That is so loud. I think they're just beeping to, to, to say they dropped off things. You're right, you don't need my help, right? You good? Good, buddy. Good, okay. They just ring. Some of them ring, some of them don't. When they ring, I might, if I'm doing a review, I stop, because what if it's my neighbor? Hey, your house is on fire, oh fuck. But if they don't ring, they just leave a package there. And I'm like, oh good, I'll check every 30 minutes like I always do. That is properly loud for Rooster. All right, all right, all right. We'll just do it outside for a second. Because you guys are going to want to know, so we have to do it. So I'm going to see if I can pick this up one-handed like a boss. Like carrying it like this, moderately annoying. If you had another person, you could hand it to them. You could trade out. But like... You on your own, I don't recommend a long walk like this. Let's put you here. We'll take you to 11. Make sure this closes because the air conditioning is precious. And I guess we'll see how far my Bluetooth range is because I've noted the Bluetooth range in this is exceptionally good. I don't know where the antenna is. I think the whole thing is an antenna. You like my fire pit? It's big enough to sacrifice virgins. Three at a time. Well, there's my Bluetooth. Wow. I've actually not done this test. When I was at that party, we had it sort of like down. Like it wasn't like, we just didn't want to piss the neighbors off. The neighbors were there. Now there's no fucking neighbors because Zeo's had requirements when he bought a house. It's so clear. I wanna hear the... Wow, I can't even like, that's, I'm, I'm thoroughly impressed. That's a hundred plus feet away. I'll keep going. I'll just, I'll keep going until my Bluetooth fails, which was pretty good when I did it on the outdoor speakers. Oh fuck, are we completely in nuclear sun mode? Oh, and we're not. It's not even a nuclear sun. Oh. We're at the limits of adhesion as far as distance, and that is clear. If you had, I wonder how they connect if they're Bluetooth to each other, because if you had to do this area, which is not a small area, if there was a wedding back here or a bar mitzvah or a wedding bar mitzvah combination slash um, stripper graduation slash regular graduation slash Jimmy's first car slash Sandy's uh, Quentin Sinala, I don't know, you could you could hit with two of these, I'd have no problem. As long as you kept them at least that far away from the crowd. Wow, listen to that. That's absolutely clear, Michael Jackson. The whole, 
the horse, wow, the echo off the trees. That thing is kicking ass and taking names. I'm sorry I didn't do the whole review out here, but it's hot and I really wanted a second person to do the thing where they run around with it on their back while I film it, but then I had to find copyright free music. the echo that's delayed off the trees those horses have no idea what's going on you know 11 on this is and it's clear too like i know this is as loud as that'll get i have my phone as loud as it'll go like right here painful painful not distorted painful but that's because we are way too close that's why i talk about sound reinforcement you know you could have this at 11 like it currently is on a battery that hasn't been charged in four weeks. But you just bring it down to the right amount of volume. You set it up in the correct location. If you get multiple of these, I feel like this would be an amazing investment if you did parties, if you're a mobile DJ and you know, you're, you don't wanna run the wires. I've seen them bring in the bass bins. You get three or four of these, you invest in it. You put them around, you go wireless, you make sure you got them charged, you keep extra battery on hand in case one of them dies. That's it. You set your team ID up, you bounce them around, you keep them as far away from the people. I... This is now gonna become a small rant. Number one, it's hot out, it's 91 today. Number two, I fucking hate this. When you go to a party, and it's like, oh, it's little Cindy's uh, confirmation. Her and all her 12-year-old friends want to have loud music. And they hire the DJ who just does drug-fueled fucking raves. And he shows up, and he's got speakers that make these look like his shoes. Because they're just the size of the house. This, this is just a sound system. And the little girls are dancing in front of it, and their heads are like here. And they're just wailing it. Like, no, stop. What the fuck is wrong with you? Put the speakers far enough away that people can't get near them. Set the volumes correctly and sound reinforce the, the beautiful music. These are these are fucking kids. You're killing these children. Their ears. They're never going to appreciate Ship 9500s if you keep ruining their ears. Small rant over. Yeah, the the ideal thing to do with speakers like this. When you want a speaker, you could turn up louder and louder and louder and get further and further and further away. I would not put this speaker here if people were standing anywhere before that fire pit. You're having a party on this deck, this speaker goes where that fire pit is and fires this way, all right? You don't want this anywhere near you. You want it, you want it away, put it, by the, put it by the garage, put it over there by the trees. Have a play in your general direction. Don't put it in your area. There's a fucking pick, I'm gonna, come with me. Come with me. I'm gonna show you a picture. Oh God, Chewbacca wants out. No poopers. New poop, it's too hot. It's my new thing, I let her out. She's like, oh, I'm the best cat ever. <sighs> Shit, do I still have that at 10? Is she behind it or in front of it? Boom, I just explode my cat. Just, just boom. No, no, come on, baby, move. I could lower it down a lot. I lower it down a lot and then I put on, oh, then I put on defeated clown. I could raise it up a little bit. Baby, are you a defeated clown? She's like, ah! It's a Joker OST. Oh, by the way, Bluetooth in my house is terrible. I don't know what the problem is. But it's terrible. Like, I'll actually get stutters from here to there with a the, with the Bluetooth device. I just want to show you one image on the site, which is the whole reason I brought this up. If you go back to Soundbox in general, this one. I'm about to, I can't zoom out because of a thing. But these people are partying with this son of a bitch in their room. You can do that. Here's the thing. You can do that. You just have to have the volume down. Please don't put it on 11 ever when you're indoors. Ever, 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 ever. Because Chewbacca will not like it. Don't make my cat sad. You can run it sideways, by the way. There's nothing that stops you. Since it's mono, it's not stereo. And since you're not really, like, you can kind of worry about cancellation from the top and bottom 10 inch. But once you're far enough away from this thing. Hey. 
Where's my 20D batteries? Oh. 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 That's the conclusion of my Soundbox review. It's an impressive piece of equipment, and you're gonna pay a grand for it, and you're gonna be able to tell people you paid a grand for it, but at least it fucking performs. Uh, I was prepared, in case this thing just sucked, to shit all over it for, and say, oh, they sent me a thousand dollar Bluetooth speaker, and I don't care about it, ha ha, garbage. But I think legitimately, now that COVID's sort of waning back, I'm gonna be building a new deck out there, that deck is garbage, hot garbage, Chewbacca. Hot garbage, literally, literally hot garbage. Um, I don't know if I, you don't, I wouldn't want to leave this out there permanently, but if I'm ever having like a goddamn kicker and I don't have my uh, built-in sound, whatever I decide, one of these, preferably two of them, honestly, would be ideal. It'd be ideal. Unfortunately, they don't make a red grill. They make a blue grill and a white grill and a black grill, but not a red and a blue grill, so then I can't really even do it in stereo. It hurts my soul. And I think you could actually take this Soundbox logo off. When I had it off, you could see the back of it. So if you wanted to have it just be a clean fascia, or if you plan on using it sideways all the time and you think that makes it look silly, you could do that. And so that is the conclusion to this review. Do I think it's worth $1,000? I'd like to see it drop on to like 800 bucks, just because I hate paying full price. But then again, if it's, you pay 800, you have to tell people you spend $800 on a Bluetooth speaker and not 1,000. A thousand makes you seem more impressive as a human being. And it does still sound way better than you expect from just a Bluetooth speaker. And my love is lonely, lonely, lonely. By the way, thank you for supporting this channel. I probably will get copyright striked for this, or at least copyright warning, and they'll take away all the money that possibly could be made from the four ads I put on it. Um, so Patreon and Subscribestar support this channel and allow me to do stupid shit like play music and say shit like shit, because monetization goes to hell when you do that. So I appreciate anyone who follows the channel and follows on Patreon and Subscribestar. You get to see these reviews early. You get to participate in the yard sales, where if this was not as good as I th currently believe it is, if it didn't have the accessories that actually function, that's a decent stand, that's actually that backpack, even though I tried it out for the first time 20 minutes ago, I can see it being in use. I'll probably end up keeping this not yard selling it. it. Again, I got it in Kubota yellow, Kubota orange, my bad, not yellow, to put on my tractor, but I would have to face it away from me and just so when I'm making U-turns, mowing my lawn, it would blast sound out, then no blast sound, then blast sound out. It'd be amazingly annoying um, for my neighbors. Not that I hate my neighbors, but I mean, how much of my music can you listen to straight in a row? If you want to download the wallpaper, I thought that one was cute and well drawn. Drawn by Ambu2018, Frang? I like it, I like it. Chewbacca, you like it? She's standing currently on the sound box. Uh, Stand bag, like anything that's not floor, that's her home now. She even just put her foot on the, on the, the, Jesus. You're so cat sometimes, Chewbacca. Sometimes she's so cat. Anyway, I'm going to power this off. Thank you all for stopping by for this review. Um, I was considering sound demoing this. It might come out. I have a secondary sound demo channel, which you can subscribe to that sound demos come out on. I might do the review series on there. I'm trying to keep the main channel all high, high watch videos because the algorithm's a pile of shit. So subscribe to that. Things don't come out very often. A lot of times they wouldn't even correspond. So if the sound demo of this comes out a week after you see this video or a week before, you know, it's just doing its own thing and everyone can uh, do their stuff there. Chewbacca, thanks you for stopping by. I thank you for stopping by. Soundbox, thanks you for stopping by. Patreon, subscribe, start to see your reviews early, participate in yard sales. $10 a month gets you in the private behind the scenes Telegram chat, where they've known I've had this for year, well, not years, but months. And they know I've been playing with it all year, is what I was gonna say, because they wanted this review sometime in March or in April, and it's currently filming in July. And I guess I've missed the rush for everyone who's gonna run out in the summer, but we've got all of August and September and October. Honestly, I wanna kinda of throw this outside when I have a really bad snowstorm and just see how far the sound travels because when you have snow, it deadens sound and I wonder what this will do. Um, so that's it, right? Hi-Fi Guides and the Hi-Fi Guides Forum. 
and we're done. Well. That's yours now, baby. You could stand on that little black little strip of, of fabric because she's, oh, look, she's cleaning. She's moved in. Anyway, thank you, Soundbox. Thank you, Wallpaper. Thank you, Cat. I'll see you all in two days.